Hello, Carl here. Today we're going to talk about how to remove the auxiliary fuel tank from an R66 helicopter. Uh, in the maintenance manual, you'll see the full instructions on how to do it. It's um, pretty simple and I'm going to show you um, a few simple steps. Um, all you need is a 9 16 inch wrench, adjustable wrench, uh, a power uh, screwdriver with an extension, and you need the MT183-1 kit that comes with the auxiliary fuel tank. And the first thing you do is drain your tank. You can use the pump that's inside the tank and drain the fuel into your main tank. Um, so you want this tank empty so you can remove it. Then turn off the breaker inside the ship, turn off the power. Then remove the two uh, connectors here, lay them in the top of the auxiliary fuel tank. Then you want to remove the fuel line and the vent line. And then you want to put these two blue caps on the lines using the uh, 9 16 inch wrench and the uh, adjustable wrench. Always use a backup uh, wrench with all the connections and disconnections. Uh, put those caps on that come in the, the kit. Put the line up, one line up in the top hole. There's one for each line. Uh, inside this kit. You'll see the cap then, uh, another blue cap for the fuel tank. Screw one on here, snug that up with the adjustable wrench. Another cap here, snug that up with the adjustable wrench. Uh, inside the kit you'll also see some spare screws. You can put the screws that you take off. You get a Torx bit uh, that you can use in your power driver that comes with the kit. Everything, all your all your parts can stay here so you don't lose them. And then there's eight screws that you want to remove um, to take the tank out. There's two up here, and then there's two on the right side that you have to get inside the rear passenger compartment and remove the screws on the right uh, rear compartment, and then two on the left rear compartment, and then two. Uh, way back inside the compartment. That's why you need the extension unless you got long arms. So you got uh, two, four, six, and then eight on the other side and left compartment. Remove those eight screws and then uh, grab the strap here, lift it out, and then pull the tank right out. That's all there is to it. Comes, comes out in about five to ten minutes. Um, here you'll see I have the large fuel tank, same procedure for the uh, small fuel tank. I personally um, would uh, recommend the large fuel tank, or at least getting any fuel tank because it's so easy to take in and out. A uh, large one I recommend because fuel prices can uh, vary quite a bit from airport to airport. And also sometimes uh, municipal airports don't have Jet A fuel. So, um, you have plenty of fuel with you and it's so easy to take out so if you need more luggage space or if you have heavy passengers um, you can easily pull the tank out so hope that helps